do sell popsicle sticks on the side i also have uh been selling um weed as well all right all right hold on for one second here i also sell flowers but it's only it the, the it's only when they plant them every morning in front of the capitol because they plant them and i just you know hold on for one, sec one second because you're asking for pointers and right now you're just taking me off key i'm drinking wine uh I don't understand about the capital um, because you don't, you haven't so, said nothing about a superstar that may know me. So right oh. now this conversation is going left. Okay, a superstar. Uh, do you know? Are you aware of Paris Hilton? She knows me, dear. Okay. Yeah. 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 She's call pretty cool. Call me back. Here, call me back. Just call me back. Uh, he was he was scooping the topic. I think he was almost at the surface to find one for me. I really do. Well, what's the crack? I'm sorry. I said, well, I'm Irish, so look for a job. Oh, oh, I never, um, uh, I never came, never asked about the accent, but, um, you, you said what? You're looking for a job? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not hiring, um, right now. It's Saturday and I'm oh. not in my office. Oh, I wouldn't work for you anyways, really, to be honest. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, mean, I don't I hear the accent anymore. I <laughs> said so I wouldn't work for you anyways. So you're going to go tell your mom that you just told me that you're not going to work for me? What do you want my mother for? What is that? What they say? Do you want a cookie? <laughs> a cookie? I eat protein cookies. But you... Yeah, uh, you don't All right, sir. Call me back when you're ready and call me with your parents next time. All right? Hello? Hey, you're my landlord, right, Manly? Manny? Say that again, dear? You're my landlord, Manny, right? Hello? Dear, I'm I'm not your Manny. Who I don't know who that is. Hello? I'm Boston CEO. Yes. Everyone, please. When you reach out to me, make it make common sense, please. I'm not understanding these uh, people. Now, I understand we have a lot of requests, but I just want, it's, it seems like I'm getting a lot of these, these in and outers. We're gonna find a good one. We're gonna find a good person out there who wants to carry a conversation of common sense. Boston CEO, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Uh, what service provider are you on? Oh, I'm with Telus What? What is the name of it? Telus. I never heard of that, dear. Call me back on Metro's uh, instead. I never heard of Telus. It sounds like um, off-brand. Everyone, have you heard of Telus? Never heard of it. I never heard of it. Yes, some of you are saying yes. Now, one more question. Some saying no, some saying yes. Uh, is it a... Uh, 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 Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm back to Burma. Okay, one bus. I'm sorry? Oh, I'm sorry. No, yes. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, his bills were definitely affected. Hello. How are you, dear? Boston CEO here. 
Nice to meet you, Boston CEO. It is. I think, it is. I think you remember me from about 20 years ago when I was working as an employee for one of your startup companies. We were. This may be true. Yes, we were actually. Um, we were becoming better friends because you were my mentor, and I was receiving five dollars an hour. And you were. I'm sorry, dear. I never gotten that close to a person that make that make that wage. I never gotten personally close to them uh, to spread information or to care and carry emotions. So. Um, no, no, I'm saying that think... this is a story. Sorry, this is a past story. This is my story of becoming my own boss and CEO. Oh, so we're making up stories. All right, a fiction. Well, no, it's not a fiction actually, because I was working with you. You allowed me to um, grow off of your business. You mentored me. A couple years later, I was struggling, yes, but I also was able to open my own company, which you helped me fund, and you helped me grow that into <laughs> one of your biggest computers. So question, so, how is your business doing today? Very, very well. All, All right, so you're just freaking out to tell me about the good news on your behalf? Yes, because we haven't spoken in such a long time. So I'm just reminding you that I'm just trying to remind everybody that just because you may be making $6 an hour, it doesn't mean that you won't be, you will be making the same tomorrow. Boss and CEO works with the poorest to get them into the upper class, you know, and people are very ungrateful. I remember two lives ago, a person was complaining about mold in the factories. Um, hello? you were talking about me and you were saying inspiring things about me. Yes, no, I was saying the person was complaining about mold in the factories. Well, let's not talk about the person. Uh, you can stay on topic. Okay, okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, you're I just want to. Okay. Yeah, you're an amazing boss and CEO. You are a queen and you really stand by your employees into making them into their own bosses and CEOs. But lots of people don't understand that. It is lonely at the top. It is. It is. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to let you go and uh, please you. call me back on the next live and be prepared with the same thing that you said to me so everyone can know the type of person that I am. Thank you. This is everyone. I'm telling you, it's wonderful when people come on here and just say the great things about me. I, giving me my flowers. Boss and CEO, it is me contacting you from the warehouse in China. Um, we had some child labor allegations against your factory. I believe you remember. I saw you in the court a few months ago. I am wondering exactly how it went. The child, the children are still working. Don't you worry. I put the children to work. They're still sewing up our garments day after day, day after day. Perfect. Um, now, um, are they packaging the hold on for one moment? We just got another investor. London St uh, string fellow. Thank you so much for your investment is very much obliged. I'm sorry. So you're speaking about the children in China that is and there's an emergency and we need to get on it. So what's going on? I'm actually in route right now, but not to China, but we could be because I have a personal jet. My attorney is working on it right now. We have multiple allegations in multiple factories in multiple countries, not only China, but our operation in Bangladesh. It appears the bills in Bangladesh are being affected. The bills in big, let me repeat that. The bills in Bangladesh are, are being, being affected. affected. So oh. we must get on it. Um, I'm, I'll have you know, the wages are much lower over there. I know your standard starting wage of $6.10. In Bangladesh, I start them off at $0.05 cents a day. Enough All to right, feed their so families. You know a lot about this. So what we're going to do is let you do that. And I'm on TikTok right now, and I'm talking to people. But that sounds important. I'm going to let you get on it for the hourly wage that I'm paying you for six eleven. Thank you. See, that's one of my employees, everyone, and I hired them for moments like this. 
uh, what we just seen here was me being noted about what's going on there in China. I cannot be everywhere. I can't be everywhere and do this. I am noted in many of ways. We have the LGBT. I don't know who this is, but I love the name because I hire them all. Yeah, hi. Uh, Mama, you remember me? <laughs> Mama, don't hang up, Mama. You always hang up. Daddy said you're going to hang up. He promised all me. All right, so say I don't have no children. You already know this. And if I ever did, in this moment, you're going to be abandoned. You need to start recognizing us, Mama. Start recognizing us. <laughs> Uh, hello? Don't act shocked, please. I didn't call you, you <laughs> called me. Um, I've been trying to get in contact with you for quite a while now regarding my bonus. You're about to get hung up on, because you know I do not handle any business matters right now. Um, my manager told me to get to you. Who's your manager? Um, um, oh, uh, Johnny. Johnny, yeah. What state are you in? Oh, he's, uh, he manages your, your Texas firms. You just call Johnny's bills to get affected. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, I will never have this happen again. All right, talk to you later and make sure you note, notate Johnny. Uh, everyone, I'm not doing handling business matters right now. It's Saturday. I'm on my private jet. They just turned on the sound boofer for you guys so we can handle the calls. So the noise is at a bay. Please, everyone, please. Another Mint Mobile user. Hello? Yeah, you can hear me? I can hear you just fine, my dear. Uh, can oh. you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. you. Can hear Everyone, uh, I don't know. Uh, TikTok, Mr. Chu, if you're watching, uh, make sure you give us a filter. Everyone that needs to connect with me need to have Verizon, AT&T. Uh, we're getting a lot of uh, Obama users, Metro PCS, and Mint Mobile, Mr. Chu. What's good? You again. You again. What are you doing? You're still behind that wall. <laughs> no. I actually got out. It was pretty cool. Yeah. But um, I see you. You took a shower. Oh yeah, you know me. Stay fresh. You know. Cool. Yeah. You you went to the hotel lobby. Is is that where you are right now? I'm actually on my my private jet. We have conversated here before. I'm no, always in a row. I'm a Boston CEO, very much busy. Uh, did you write a new song yet? 
Oh yeah, I got I got new music. Oh yeah, we've been working. Yeah, that's probably yeah. <laughs> that's probably why I was at the studio since you. Was I was there today. Time. I was there this morning. I think I told you this. I talked to you today. Yeah, yes. I was there this morning. Uh huh. I ain't see you. <laughs> oh no, uh, you probably went to your homeboy's uh, closet down the street, but uh, I was actually at Jay Z's um, studio. They uh, offered me to come there. I was not at my homeboy closet playing. No, no, nah, I went to the real studio and make these hits. This ain't no hey. I'm pretty sure you, yeah. you have to take it serious. So once you were there, you saw a studio and you have to believe it. That's the first step. No, I go to the real booth. It ain't no mess around. Do you hear the quality of this? This is quality. This is this Supernova, is thank you. And Bryce, thank you. Supernova, you're showing out. I really appreciate it. Hey, I'm in the studio right now. I'm under the Thank you. Bryce, thank you. Hey, so how you vibing like that? You you give me um you give me good vibes, like you give me chill music. Like where the uh, young men gather together and smoke and listen to the music. Hey, that's pretty the vibe. That'd be cool. Then. I yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Florida. Texas. Nah, Texas, Texas. What's Texas. wrong with Florida? You give me Florida music. Nah, Florida cool. I never been to Florida, but I'm not a beach guy. I'm more I'm more nah, we more country over here. I understand. I understand. Oh uh, well that was a wonderful piece. A wonderful hey. piece. Hey, that's out now on all platforms at Dane Rock out. Song oh, really? Hillside. So, so it's on all platforms. I have Boss Moves that's about to be on all platforms. So get your shine now. Hey. Everyone, please check out what he has before yeah, I put out mine. Now follow me. I would like for him to get his recognition before Boss Moves come out. Because <laughs> once that comes out, it's going to be a takeover. And then, it's going to be a takeover. Hey, I see you got some more apple juice. I think see, you're on that uh, low quality phone of, over there. That's what you're on. Nah, then you got this little background off your Nokia. <laughs> Here comes the shade. Here comes the shade. Oh, young man. Well, you know, we, we have a minute left to play with the shade. I guess we can go ahead and be shady. Uh, who's your bar? Barbara. Who, who's my barber? You said who's your barber? Who's yes. your barber? Hey, nah, <laughs> Not I, mine, you're yours. <laughs> nah, you funny though. Hey, Bernardo, I went to your page and it was crazy. I'm like, yeah. nah. nah. You're I'm, gonna see I'm, a lot of that there. Yeah. That was crazy. That's pretty much what I can say. Hey, say please. <laughs> and the funny thing is, yeah. the funny thing is, you were <laughs> She said, I done found my husband. Hey, where you been at? Follow me on Instagram at Danny Rock out my TikTok name. Uh, go say block it. everyone. I like him. He's my friend. He's sweet. He's working hard towards something positive. When there's so many negative things out there that young men can be getting into, but yet he's doing something positive and making a, a, a mark for himself. Hey, this is my friend. Even though we'll be beefing sometime, it's love. I'm gonna get back with you. All right, dear. No, please don't be calling me from behind the wall again. Hey, I, 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 I. <laughs> no. Uh, 
I, I will put him on payroll, but he told me 6'11 was not enough for him. So I'm letting him go out here and hustle it. He wants to show me a Boston CEO he is. He, he can do that. My camera. Yes. Boston CEO. Ooh. Jesus, yeah. please. I'm sorry, dear. Boss, there's the boss. Boss, we got a problem here, boss. Oh my God. We we got we got a problem. Dear a problem. connection. Are you on Metro PCS with an emergency? No, I'm a, I'm a, I I had to come to one of the clouds. The toilet's plugged, baby. The toilet's plugged. Dear, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to die tonight. I wouldn't be able to pick it up. It's giving me um you know the wrong turn by I'm sorry. You will have to die tonight. Uh, staff, I don't know who's in that break room back there, but the, the it's very loud. It's very loud. Hello. Hi, boss. Oh my God, I'm so happy to speak to you. I'm happy to speak to you as well, dear. Uh, who are you? Oh my gosh, I am the head of your payroll department and I've been working for you for about 20 years now. I've never right. gotten the chance to speak to you. All right, so, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, and I'm so excited. And I know that you haven't- um, There's people watching there, so be very cautious of what you say. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I know, the $6.11, it's been causing so many issues with our workers. Oh my gosh, I've been dealing with complaints after complaints. I cannot deal with it, boss. Have you been hearing about that? You can't deal with it? No. Well, dear, your bill has been they affected. They want raises. Uh, dear, you're terminated. Uh, <gasps> since you can't do the job, no. I will find someone that will do it for 611, and I'm very boss. sorry that you can't deal with it, dear. No, uh, boss, we will be sending your uh, termination papers now. out to you. No, you just told us, we all heard it, right? We all heard her. Boss, maybe we need to consider a raise. I'm sorry, no dear, and you want that raise. Uh, you have been, <laughs> your bills has been affected, dear. I'm sorry. Now, 20 years was a wonderful time we have spun together, but unfortunately, today is the day that we have to sever your tides. Uh, my dear, please reach out to your banker and discuss the, uh, the changes of your finances immediately. I, I I don't mean to be like that, but I I hire enthusiastic employees who are happy to get on onto the uh the field to work. And once you start getting tired, I will remove you from service. Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? I heard that play. Are you on Metro PCS? <laughs> no, um, but I'm looking for a job. And Honey, we're I not hiring. I'm not at my office. I'm um, on my but... personal jet, dear. So I can, I do not have the documentation in front of me to uh conduct a, a hiring session. Um, but I need a job. I just told you what I told you. What else do you want me to change? Okay, well, when you get off your private jet, I would like a job. Thank you. All right, dear. Uh, that sounds more like it, but I think we need to switch a little bit, just tweak it a little bit. Um, Monday morning, uh, in the next six to eight years, we'll reach out to you, inquire about if you're still wait, wait, um, six to eight wanting. Years. What? That's our time frame, dear. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. I need... Yeah, in the next six to eight years. Okay, just email me. All right, dear. Have a wonderful one. You too. Everyone, if you did not know, we reach out to people uh, in the next six to eight years here. Uh, so if you are inquiring about anything, 
uh, please be aware that we will handle all matters in the next six to eight years. I only open mail. Uh, if I receive mail today physically, I won't open it into the next six to eight years due to the fact that I already have mail that I'm uh, dedicated to open on a routine schedule. And it's been down the line for like that for many of years. And that is the way that we work. Hello. Hello. How are you, dear? I'm doing well. I'm actually uh, a millionaire investor. My friend Serena Williams, she told me about you. I was inquiring about your services. Well, dear, today is not a business day that we are open to uh, taking clients. But, Honey, uh, every day is a business day. Oh, yes, it is. Every day is a business day, but not for me. Uh, <laughs> I do understand that you are intrigued of what it is that I do, right? That's really disappointing to hear that you're not working business right now, I have to say. I'm currently in the air on my jet. And honey, I'm on a train. But yet yeah, you're a millionaire. Yes, a private train. Uh, it's private. Yes. But your tracks are on the public. <laughs> That's why I never bought me a train. Because the, I still share the same train tracks with the people that um, take public transportation. So not that's why I tracks. went um, private. Not my train tracks. Private. Mine's underground. Really? Yep. Oh, how nice. Uh, but I was thinking about going that route. But to save all the trouble, I was too much in a rush. I just got the jet. But uh, underground is so last year. You didn't know? Yes. I no think that's great you have me. a jet. Yeah, that's great. I'm sorry? I think that's great you have a jet. You know, I love my five private jets. Wonderful. I have 10 of them and you are on a come up. Uh, let's give you some kudos because five more. So let's talk about your services a little. Oh, all right. Oh, as well as your services. Let's go. Oh, no, honey. I asked first. I, I'm, I'm willing to answer always, but I was wondering your services if you're a millionaire too. Yeah, so I'm an oil tycoon. Oh, so you're, you're what I am. No need to explain. You are also an oil tycoon? I am. See, I'm a boss and CEO, and I own many of establishment, and I employ a lot of people. And um, if you ever ask me what it is that I do, I would not be able to go down the list of it all because it will take up too much of our, your time, and it will inspire you to wonder what else that it is that I do. What I'm hearing is that you might be my competition. I've already been that there, and you just didn't know. Now I do. Are you still there? We I am just, still there. We yeah. just touched into the East Coast, so that's why we uh, had that glitch. Of course, of course. Yeah, my train has Wi-Fi everywhere, so, you know. So does my jet. So that's does wonderful, jet. yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, but right now I'm passing them out and not going through it. Well, it was great talking to you. My my lawyers will be ringing you up soon. For what, dear? Oh, you know. I actually don't know. They would have told me when, when we was having brunch the other day, all lawyers in the nation, and I'm held um, high for the ceremony. And they would have told me anything that was um, legal against me. That's great. That's great. Well, your indictment is coming soon. I have to warn you. Uh, you will be subpoenaed in the next three to five. All right, well, I guess so, but we won't be opening up the letters until the next six to eight years. Catch you on the flip. All right, dear. Everyone, that's another millionaire who is very uh, high statured and thinks they're all of that, like me. But you see, uh, I'm friends with other millionaires, and they treat me better. We have better conversations. Um, some of them are very bougie like that. They act like they're all of that all of my other friends, but it's fine. I'm used to the attitude and the shade. I'm used to it. Uh, thank you, Gerald, so much for the money gun. I have one personally. I was going to bring it, but I did not bring it on the flight. It's currently stuck in Dubai. Thank you so much for the roses, dear. Thank you, Benji, as well. Green tea, thank you. And Sunny, thank you so much for the roses. Very much obliged. <clears throat> Ren, thank you. Who is this here?
Hey, you need to go to bed at this point. Hey, no, nah, be up, be up. We be still here. At this huh? point, you need to go to go to bed. Look, call me back on the next one. Next, next time, if we connect again, then it's meant to be. I need my headphones. Hey, when you start a poll. Mm, no, I'm taking lives from other people at the moment. But call me on the next one, and I'll. He's, his enthusiasm, everyone, is just off the rocks. Hey, dear, how are you? I remember your name on here. You and I spoke before. Yes, we did. We have, we have. All right, so why are we speaking again? You know, because honestly, I just wanted to let you know, um, my lawyer will be in contact with you. And although you do say you know all of them, but I know every lawyer in the universe. And honestly- Who are you? Who are you to know every lawyer like I do? I'm a better Boston CEO. Yeah. Say that for me one more time. I am a better boss and CEO. I'm sorry to break You sound like Walmart Great Value, Brian of me. Now, see, honestly, I own Walmart and Great Value. <laughs> and see, that's why they have yeah, the competition. And I, brunch, I brunch and dine with Jeff Bezos. Yeah. I'm he so happy that you compare yeah. yourself to Walmart, dear. And yeah. therefore, I am the Whole Foods. And that's why you see, see you are the BT Awards. I am the Golden it's not Globes. Really that good, honestly. I own and I actually own a stock in Whole Foods, actually. And also, I also own Trader Joe's. Actually, the only reason why grocery markets actually exist is because of my great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah. Who also worked for my great, 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 great grandmother. Yeah, oh, you, you didn't know that, but now you know, and this is important. <laughs> I mean, I, I love the enthusiasm and the delusion, but it's okay. Yeah. I love the energy and I love the uh, manifestation that you mm -hmm. are just putting out there for your young spirit and all of these things that you stated will one yeah. day come true. You know, honestly, I don't really think you're being delusional. I just feel like you're being hopeful. And honestly, I love that for you. And you know, oh even God, though, dear. yeah, hoping, hoping and dreaming might not be for some people, which why is not for you. But honestly, in this honest reality I live in, I, all I can say is, is that um, as a better Boston CEO, I'm willing to offer you a job where I'm paying you not six eleven, but six twelve. And, My dear, um, if I could interrupt, first off, I would love to say it mm -hmm. is wonderful to hear the five and below TV in the background. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's because you know, very you know much I at least allow Samantha. You know, she's on break from you, so she allowed to. I'm, I let her come over and you know take a little break. Honestly, I allowed to pay her um, six dollars and ten cents with the benefits of being able to get nap time for five minutes. Sorry. All right. Well, yeah. first the uh, the speaker from five and below in the background is mm -hmm. over drowning you. Oh, that might just be your trash Wi-Fi on that plane. No, there's no need for me to use Wi-Fi when you already in service with Verizon. There's See, no I actually own Verizon actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? I'm yeah, and that actually, to your phone bill is actually a little bit behind. Oh, I, I, no, dear. I checked, yeah. Now we're it. joking. <laughs> You're in no way the owner of Verizon. The credit's going to drop if you, if, you, if you don't pay your bill. Dear, you need to go to bed. <laughs> and I hope it's not on a futon because I think it's providing a lot of bad backs out there. I'm sorry, you know, with my TV that, you know, I bought from my Verizon company, it's really not giving on the airplane. You know, when you're moving so fast and you have those titanium and those, you know, the weak iron that's around your plane, I'm sorry, you don't really get the good connection. Like you get the connection of hot dog water. Where Sorry. are you calling from? I'm calling from Dubai. You I was wondering if Dubai. see see I just left there uh, yeah, yesterday, know, yeah, and I'm I'm I in the United States. Dubai. Yeah. I'm sorry. I actually own Dubai. See, you're delusional, dear. 
There's no, no am way. I delusional or are you or am I just unbelievable rich? And I'm sorry that you could not be able to afford, you know, living in Dubai because you have to come in and out. But <laughs> I hope you're gonna be here for the um Boston CEO convention. But will you be able to make it to a better Boston CEO convention? I don't think you were Dear, involved. we have already established that I <laughs> am the Golden Globes, you are the BT. <laughs> Actually, I'm the Grammys and you are the Soul Train. You know what, dear? I, we all have our places in life, and yeah. you are just like you claimed earlier yeah. the great value. Actually, I would prefer myself to be more so Trader Joe's up there with them. You know, I kind of saw you with like the Dollar Tree franchise, but it's okay. Yeah. But you notice even they went up to 125. Not yeah. enough. But honestly, so we're going up around here. Big things are happening for me as a Boston CEO. Yeah, we're but it's kind of like, you know, when I look at it and I look at the quality, it wasn't really racking any money. I, I actually saw that, you know, Dollar Tree was going bankrupt and I saw it was actually under your name, actually. <laughs> it Boston is. CEO. It is. Uh, but uh, see, I own the competition for Dollar Tree. I provide places for the public like yourself yeah. to shop. And that's a place that I know that you shop in all of the time. And if anything, most mm -hmm. of your uh, Gerber was provided from the Dollar Tree. We Actually, have bottles. We have. Uh, we're we're trying to get Infamil uh, mm -hmm. on the shelves there for Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. I mean, while well, you're selling that, I sell deer sausages. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. See, you're so broke. You don't even know what that is. Deer sausages. Deer. I'm sorry. Uh, we don't do deer sausages. I eat everything organic if it's not caviar or lobster or, salmon. I mean, honestly, it is organic. And honestly, it's like if you don't understand money, you don't really understand what deer sausages are. I, do. honestly, I definitely understand money. That's why I'm Boston CEO. Yeah, but I'm better Boston CEO. <laughs> All right, dear. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get someone else on the line here. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Better Boston CEO. Everyone, a nostalgic throwback just hit me. Um, and that nostalgic throwback was, who else was, um, who else grew up on the wild thornberries? This is, this is chrysanthemum. Honey, please uh, hold on for one moment. I'm talking. I'm I talking here. I and you just interrupted a nostalgic feeling I was having. Uh, who remembers the, the wild thornberries? Who remember the wild thornberries? Who were raised upon it? If you don't know what it is, you don't, we're not friends. Hold on, hold on. Dear, thank you so much for being patient. Uh, yeah, do you know the wild thornberries? Um, I've actually never heard of them. I All right, Daryl, I'm going to have to let you go. Um, okay. It was important for someone to know the wild thornberries at this moment so we can discuss it. Uh, yeah, uh, if you're not raised on Nickelodeon like I am, uh, everyone, you would not know uh, who the wild thornberries are. The wild thornberries is a nostalgic old show that I used to watch and I grew up on it and it made me the woman who I am today. So I was wondering. Sue, thank you so much for your cash app. It's very much to oblige. Uh, yeah, so I was wondering if anyone's on here. No. Peach Poppy. Why you got my pictures up on your page? What pictures? I got sent a video where I had to get you together a few weeks ago, and it's going viral. I need my lawyers to get with your lawyers because I need my compensation. There, honey, if there's any money that was made off of that, it was profited by me. Uh, and you need to run me my money. Why are you pressed for it? Are you are you? I have money? four children, Boston CEO. And I have Dear, another and one. You on the way. have those four children, not me. 
I have another one on the way. So any money that made from me getting you together, I need to get compensated. Congratulations, Adam and Eve is going strong in your genes. Uh, but what? I am a woman with no children and I don't feel the pressure or the urge. So you have no compassion? I just don't have children. You just can't get a man. You're too busy on these trips and on these jets. If you would let me help you get with Pookie and Ray Ray, maybe you can get to your common senses. Dear, I don't date no man that's named Pookie or Ray Ray. It's unprofessional, <laughs> it's not uh, uh, not ethical. Okay, um, those are their nicknames. His real name is Demetrius and Kentrell. Even those names are not acceptable, dear. You Why see, not? that is the people that's in your standard, not mine. I, I, I talk to a Ken or a John, or um, now we have upgraded to a Dwayne Wade air, um, name. So we were making room. So Dwayne is not, ethical, but Kentrell isn't? I'm so sorry, Kentrell. That sounds like Boganasia. It sounds like an NFL player or a street pharmacist. Let me t let me get you together, boss and CEO. When you are speaking of your own people, know what you're speaking about. These are educated black men. They went to HBCUs. Do you know what those are? Do you do you contribute to those? My family owns many of HBCUs for your information, and I will let you speak to so forth so you can get your little point across. But let's make sure you put whatever you're pointing at. Well, I just want to let you know I want my compensation. That was the initial conversation. But then when you right, try to go left, I was left wondering why you were so pressed to get this money. Because I but have was, bills. I'm not on a jet like you are. All right, Correct? so you're you're proud. You're poor and proud. I'm not poor, but I do well enough. I don't have a jet. So since you're not um, poor, there's no need to rush me, sweetie. At you all. only pay five dollars an hour. I make six, over forty. Six eleven, honey. Stay up to date on me. And what can six eleven do for me? Nothing. I make more money on my back and my knees than that, okay? You you shouldn't be. They just took um taken away back page and your $40 oh, has I'm not been on taken back from page, you. baby. I'm not on back page, baby. That's where you started from, correct? No, dear. No, dear. No. I have a lot of employees that came from there and they're working for me now. So I know their testimonies. Oh, you don't. If you knew them, you would pay them more. First of all, you're not making more money. They take it away back. Girl, I'm making you. more money than you, and I can tell by the wig I'm making more money than you. Who are okay? your clientele? Old, Who is my clientele? Old men. Tyler Perry. Madea. I do not believe you. Madea. I do not believe you. Madea. I'm riding it with the wig on, boo. Now, what you got next? What you got next? Tyler Perry just bought BT. He don't have time to lay around and have sex with people. Oh, He's girl, busy please. like I am. Oh, girl, please. I am the real boss and CEO. Ask Beyonce about me. I just Did left with her. She would have brought... See, she brings everyone up but you. I've never saw you with her. Have you been with her before? See, dear, you will never see or because you you're with Charles. for Jay-Z. <laughs> I just left their music studio this morning. That's you did, because Beyonce's in Chicago, so you were never with her today. I'm sorry? You, Beyonce's in Chicago. You, you were with her this morning? You don't know nothing about Beyonce and I. She has a private jet, too. I know everything. You may have been with Beyonce from RuPaul's Drag Race, Let but me you were not with Beyonce something. Giselle. No. Let me tell you something. For bosses and CEOs like Beyonce and I, having a private jet is like running to the restrooms around these United States here, honey. So do you have jet fuel? Because you've been in the same position for the last hour since I've been watching you. Actually, I'm still traveling, dear. That's it how looks as if you're hovering. It looks as if you're hovering. That's how good this jet is, dear. Oh, it's not. You've never been in one. It's you not because it's not giving 4K. Give me my compensation. Phaedra will contact Get you. Get off of that Nokia phone, dear. Phaedra will be contacting you from my compensation. Remember, you said you know Phaedra. That's what you said in the I last video. I know Phaedra. Video. She's okay. a liar. Uh, uh, the last video, she said you said she was a wonderful woman. No, she's a liar. Wow. If she's your friend, she's a liar to me. Wow. She just told me earlier she's mine. So if she's yours and working with you against me, she's a liar. Well, she did it to Candy, so it wouldn't be surprising. Right. Give, give me my money, boss and CEO, where Phaedra and Nene Leaks will be seeing you shortly, okay? I already knew you were friends with Nene. Girl, bye. Because you know what? You're going to run me my money. I'm going to run up on you.
Your Ask Nini for your money. Ask Nini for your money. How about that? Your bills will be affected. I don't. Are you sipping on Kool Aid or wine? See, it's the quality of that phone that you're on. You can't tell. I, it, when you raise it up, it disappeared. See, it's that quality of the phone you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, child. I'm not gonna play with you. Good night. Good night, dear. <laughs> <coughs> These people come on here assuming. Who is this? <clears throat> Boss and CEO. Boss what do you want, Brandon? Okay. Well, I was mm -hmm. calling to let you know that there have been some reports, but I'm not necessarily ready to deal with an attitude. Brandon, you always call on Saturday or Sunday. The opportunity lies for you Monday to Friday. Well, <clears throat> as, as you know, we've been having, you know, there's been a security threat. And Are you on Metro or Mobile? You broke up there. I'm on Metro, ma'am. All right, all right. I told you earlier. There's not much I can do. I'm trying my best, but I'm coming to you because we actually have found out that there are a few more employees that are that have back page ads up and they have the office's address on the back page ad. Perfect. Now this is a topic to talk about. Say that for me one more time. We have seven employees out of the Houston office that have been confirmed to have back page ads up and they have listed the company's corporate address as the address for their Johns to visit when they come and get them. From All back right. Page. Since you are aware of these things, what have you done before we, calling me with the news? OK, well, mm -hmm. we have six. One second. This, hold on for one moment. Of course, uh, ma'am. Gabriel once, hope I said that correct. Thank you so much for your investment. It's very much to oblige. I'm getting investments, so go ahead. Sorry. As I said, ma'am, the security team, we have six of the seven employees detained here at the offices. The last one is considered to be armed and dangerous and is located in the cargo compartment of the jet currently. All right, arm and dangerous with, with what? Uh, what is your arm? She or he? It's a they. Oh, oh, it's a they. All right, and what are they arm and dangerous with? Well, it's a large weapon, potentially of mass destruction. I'm not quite sure I can explain, but it is biological. It's biological mass destruction, large. Uh, Is it a pogo stick? Kind of close, ma'am. I'm not sure if I can say this over the internet. Uh, use another vernacular. Uh, use another term if need be, because I really would like to know what are your, what is this uh, dangerous weapon? Well, it it is in full. Have you have you seen this weapon? Yes, it, it's in full. It's uncut. I got to go on that note. Got to go on that note. I can't.